Okay, that's not meant to be there. <laughs> I'm presuming you saw that. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. And today we're opening this Etanatus Premium Collection Box. Now as someone that's got back into Pokemon sort of playing Sword and Shield, Etanatus is obviously one of my favourite Pokemon, you'd be daft not to be using him at least in the story. And I am a really big fan of the way he looks, so let's just get straight into it. So it's a good fight, but I won and we finally got the box off. So the first thing that you are faced with is the two Etanatus V and V Max cards. So we'll pop them out and take a look at them first. So here are the two Etanatus V cards. And then we have the Absolute Giant card. Next to a normal card, it looks absolutely massive. That is really nice. And then this is actually the first one of these I've actually got. A little Etanatus pin badge. Then out of the packs, which I couldn't see before what they actually were because everything was covering them. So I wasn't sure if they were all the same thing or random packs, but by the looks of it they are random packs. So let's get into them. I think we're going to open Sword and Shield first. Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. Because I haven't had much luck with the Sun and Moon. Then next the Darkness Ablaze, as I'm having a very good time with them. And then the XY Steam Siege Last, which hopefully I won't mess it up. So let's get into the first pack. Hopefully that works. Not even going to bother saying that from now on. A reboot. Train of Hot. Poker Gear 3.0. Blitbug. Goldeen. Cool looking Yamper. A Skorupe Lobopus with his purple boxing gloves And then A hollow citrus berry Then the final card The Drapion so We're not messing them out today, we're just going to get straight through them Again, not even going to bother anymore. Escape rope. A boofal ant. Looks really cool. Another one of them. Angela. Tynamo. Oh, that is nice. Crabrawler. Inky, really like the uh, artwork on that one. Lady Bar. Oh, nice. Then a hollow scallopede. Final cast. Final cast. Final card. The Tangrowth. So into the two Darkness Ablaze packs, which again, I'm big fans of these. I think my favourite packs are obviously the Champion's Path. Until the Battle Styles come out, which again, I'm going to have quite a lot of Battle Style packs to open. Right. 
Gotharita. Another one of them. Combuscan. <laughs> really like that guy. Aaron. Rockety. Wishy washy. Pan Sage. Turos. And then a Hollow Marlow. Final card. Sweet. Shiny Toxic. A shiny Toxtricity. Really not doing well tonight with the words. So into the final Darkness Ablaze pack. Then hopefully we don't mess this Team Siege pack up. Which I'm kind of worried about, so we'll, we'll just go through this one slowly. Gotharita Taboo Turbo Patch Helmet Lavita My new well one of my new favourites, Grimer The Galarian Daramaka <laughs> really like that guy. Centret. And then into the hollow. The Relicanth. That's got really nice artwork on it. And the final card. Ooh, I think it's a V Max. Oh, wow. VMAX Butterfree, it's not V sorry, it's just a Butterfree V card. Pretty sure we got the VMAX the other day in the Shining Fates if you missed that. Which one thing I will say, the reason why I was getting so many duplicates in the Shining Fates packs is because there's actually only, I believe it's 72 common cards and then something like 140 shinies. So with the common cards, you are gonna get quite a lot of duplicates. So I'm kinda glad in a way, I didn't manage to get too many of them. A little butterfree down there. So then here we go with this one. So hopefully do this one right this time. Last time I counted four and that wasn't enough. Maybe it's five. Either way I'll ruin it for me and not for you. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I need to swap them two cards around. So yeah, I still haven't. Okay, that's not meant to be there. <laughs> I'm presuming you saw that. We've well and truly messed this pack up, let's just say that. I'm gonna have to look up or if somebody can let me know in the comments below how you open the Steam Siege, then that would be much appreciated. The a C dot, and then what I'm guessing should have been the bottom card. It's a Cardivor EX. Wow, that looks brilliant. 
Again, Gardevoir, another one from Sword and Shield that I do actually know. Then a Hollow Sneasel. I'm guessing the rest of the pack is actually just going to be the normal cards. But I will go through them quickly. Oh nice, a Halucha. Angrowth. Mantine. Chelos. And then a Maril and a Drifloon. So can you tell then, I'm a rookie. <laughs> I knew something like that was going to happen on that pack. So we will quickly take a look at some of the cards I've got before we go. The other two Etanatus cards. Then the Toxtricity. That probably alone <laughs> may be worth £15. I really like this guy. Scolopede. Drapion. All uh, Citrus Berry. Marlul. Pretty sure this one. Is this a reverse hollow? So let me know in the comments below if you obviously know the difference between a normal holo and a reverse. Is a holo reverse, this has a holo and this doesn't? That would make more sense. And then we got the Butterfree. Pangrowth. Relicanth holo. And then, obviously my favourite card of the day. The Gardevoir EX. Really nice looking card. So please smash the like button as it always helps the channel. Hope everybody's having a good day. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.